हेलो नमस्ते हाउ आर यू ऑल टुडे टुडे वी आर डूइंग प्रैक्टिस वीडियो बट इन टुडेज वीडियो आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट विच डिज़ाइन हाउ टू डू बट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू प्रैक्टिस एक्चुअली बिकॉज सो मैनी पीपल आस मी दैट वी आर एब्सोलूट बिगिनर एंड वी वॉन्ट टू लर्न मेहंदी आर्ट बट हाउ शुड वी स्टार्ट हाउ शुड वी प्रैक्टिस एंड बिकॉज आई हैव सो मैनी वीडियोज फ्रॉम वेयर दे कैन स्टार्ट so while this demonstration of my my practice is going on i will talk about um how to practice in a right direction so first of all the most important rule about any art any art to improve the best quality tools and this also i have told so many times several times in my past videos also that it's very important that you use best quality henna powder and henna cone because if you are using um crappy <clears throat> quality henna powder and paste then it will definitely affect your work even though you are a very good artist and your cone is not uh, of a good quality and your lines are breaking the cone is getting clogged definitely it will reflect into your work so most and first important rule to improve any artist best quality tools and that's why for henna best quality henna powder and cone it's very very essential the moment you start using this you will definitely see like drastic improvement in your artwork people always ask me what do i use i use art passion henna powder that is triple filtered henna powder and i make my own cone why because i need the control over the um quality of my cone like how much my cone, uh, paste should be runny like um is, should it be watery or little bit thicker so i need that control over my henna paste plus uh, what type of lines like very fine lines i need or little bit thick line i need so in that way when i am making my own cone i have 100% control over my henna paste and cone that's why i make my own cone using art passion henna powder now that was about tools now let's talk about how to start practice i know i have so many videos i have um tutorial playlist i have embellishment bridal episode episodes then i have practice videos so what you are supposed to do you can see my rose flower my um, logo near that you can read art passion first of all if you have not subscribed subscribe it and click on the bell icon that is for notification for my new videos okay now click on that art passion and that will take you to my home page my ho- my channel home page you can see i have nicely organized all the playlist you can find all playlists there and if you are absolute beginner i would suggest start with tutorial playlist because in tutorial playlist i have first of all taught how to use lines how to draw lines then i have explained how to make your own henna paste and cone then there are so many other questions that all beginners face most of like most of them actually i already answered through my those videos so definitely if you are you if you are uh, facing some problems you will definitely i am very sure you will get your answer from my tutorial videos so first of all go through those videos and once you start getting confident with your lines start watching embellishment videos now now um sorry now embellishment videos are like a filler elements videos where i have taught very basic um, filler elements to very advanced like very intricate and very challenging um uh, filler elements too so pick up from your level if you are beginners then start with the basic filler elements and practice them one by one don't go like each and every one in a one like uh, finish it up like in one go don't do that start with one element learn it perfectly once you are conf- confident enough then go to the next one 
do that go slowly so start with tutorial then go to the embellishment now how will you practice the way you can see right now i am doing i am practicing uh, and creating random design whatever like is coming to my mind at that point same way take one blank paper blank paper and cone and sit down relax clear your mind don't think much and trust one thing that you can do it with that confidence start drawing whatever you feel like drawing it whatever elements you feel like drawing it it's like uh, you are doodling with your henna cone don't restrict yourself with any layout or any elements the only rule apply is your speed is slow don't fast don't go fast because your concentration should be your neat and clean lines and elements so speed is not important not at all so try to create each and every element shapes with clear lines and draw one by one elements whatever comes to your mind arrange them the way you want to don't hesitate to take um uh like a risk like experiment and arrange the way you want to arrange them and draw with clear and relaxed mind and keep drawing you can go into any direction and then you see because when you do this you are actually perfecting your lines your shapes and getting like proper understanding of each and every elements once you have a better understanding of elements when you use those elements into your layout your design will be perfect because you have that confidence level with that particular elements it's like you know your ingredients how to use it and where to use it and once you have that confidence you can use to use them in your recipe isn't it yes exactly same way we are doing with our elements as you can see right now i am just uh, drawing flowers paisleys checks whatever i feel like like i feel like practicing my stippling so i added them also gulf element i added them i placed them at a various places without any rules you might have seen my uh, doodle video where i am drawing whatever comes to my mind exactly same thing we are doing right now with henna cone so take your paper and cone and start practicing this would be helpful to beginners and advanced too if they wants to like um, improve their elements like advanced elements this is very helpful um habit and uh, technique if you want to improve your art because um, those who are following me on instagram they might know that i am learning a uh, portrait sketching so for that also i always do that i sit down with my paper and pen pencil and i just draw elements like eyes lips uh, hair whatever comes to my mind and i just practice particular that element because i want to get understanding towards that elements once i know that elements how to achieve it when i will combine them in a perfect uh, perfect sketch i know i will be at a ease and confident same thing we are doing here so at least 1 hour 2 hour give to your practice every day day and day every day like day by day then you will see you are improving after few days definitely it will reflect in your practice that your lines are improving your comfort level with element is improving so start doing that that's the right way to start your practice and once you are confident enough with your um, filler elements you can go to practices because there i have taught uh, that how to use these filler element and shapes and put them together so this is the right direction according to me to practice if you want to practice um and improve your art 
so i hope you all would have liked my today's video and it would be like helpful to all of you those who want to improve with your henna art and if you want to share your practices with us all of us then you can post your practices on my facebook page wall try to post them on wall why because when other people see you see your work they also get inspired and they also learn something new from your work and together we all can improve that's the main important motive behind all this um, practices so definitely share your work with all of us on our facebook page wall and till we meet again keep practicing and let me know how do you find my this approach i hope it would be helpful and it will help you improve your art so everyone take care bye bye love you see you bye thank you